A high dragon is not a joke. We'd best be careful. Real careful. I pray you, stay your wrath. I bring before you your champion, who will fall upon your enemies as a cleansing flame, paving the way for your glory. O beloved Andraste, O holy Andraste, we praise your name. Spoken to the beloved Andraste. She will let you pass. Succeed in your task, and you will share in her glory. We await your triumphant return. Go, show yourself to be Andraste's true champion. What is this place? It's different from the rest of the ruins. duty to protect the urn. There is joy to be found in my duty. When my brethren and I carried Andraste from Tevinta to this sanctuary, we vowed to forever revere her memory and guard her. I have watched generations of my brethren take up the mantle of their fathers. For centuries they did this, unwavering, joyful in their appointed task. But now they have lost their way. They have forgotten Andraste and their promise. I am all that remains of the first disciples. I swore I would protect the urn as long as I lived, and I have lived a very long time. Did anyone really know her, save the Maker? She would sometimes spend weeks alone in meditation, often without food or water. I cannot express in words my love for Andraste. You must seek her out for yourself. Everyone must. I made a vow to Andraste and to the Maker. My life is tied to the ashes. As long as they remain, so will I. You already know that 
the urn contains the remains of the Prophet Andraste. What else is there to tell? No. Our Andraste has gone to the Maker's side. She will not return. The dragon is a fearsome creature, and they must have seen her as an alternative to the absent Maker and his silent Andraste. A true believer would not require audacious displays of power. It began with an ancestor of the one known as Colgrim. He saw himself as a new prophet, preaching the rebirth. Some disagreed with him. I heard their cries of pain and loss, which were quickly silenced. The Maker will sit in judgment of them. When the time comes, you have come to honor Andraste, and you shall, if you prove yourself worthy. Then you will not come to the ashes. It is not my place to decide your worthiness. The gauntlet does that. If you are found worthy, you will see the urn and be allowed to take a small pinch of the ashes for yourself. If not... No. There is only one way to the ashes, and that is through the gauntlet. Before you go, there is something I must ask. I see that the path that led you here was not easy. There is suffering in your past. Your suffering, and the suffering of others. You betrayed Jowan to Irving. He was almost killed, and he lost the one thing that mattered. Lily, Jowan trusted you. Tell me, do you think you failed, Jawan? Your path is laid out before me and plain to see. In the lines of your face and the scars on your heart. Do you believe you failed, Jawan? Very well. You know your own heart. Now you've got me curious about how you really feel. I'm glad you declined. This question has nothing to do with our goal. What's past is past. Why bring it up and open all wounds? And what of those that follow you? Alistair, Knight, and Warden. You wonder if things would have been different if you were with Duncan on the battlefield. You could have shielded him from the killing blow. You wonder, don't you, if you should have died, and not him? I... yes. If Duncan had been saved, and not me, everything would be better. If I just had the chance, maybe I... And you... why do you say the Maker speaks to you, when all know that the Maker has left? He spoke only to Andraste. Do you believe yourself her equal? I never said that. I... In Orle, you were someone. In Lothering, you feared you would lose yourself, become a drab sister, and disappear. When your brothers and sisters of the Cloister criticized you for what you professed, you were hurt, but you also reveled in it. It made you special. You enjoyed the attention, even if it was negative. You're saying that I made it up for... for the attention? I did not. I know what I believe. And you, Morrigan, Flemeth's daughter, what? Be gone, spirit. I will not play your games. I will respect your wishes. The way is open. 
Good luck, and may you find what you seek. Echoes from a shadow realm, whispers of things yet to come. Thought's strange sister dwells in night, is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? A dream came upon me as my daughter slumbered beneath my heart. It told of her life, and of her betrayal and death. I am sorrow and regret. I am a mother weeping bitter tears for a daughter she could not save. I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong, that belongs also to me. Of what do I speak? It was my dream for the people to have a home of their own, where we would have no masters but ourselves. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, and thus we followed Andraste against the Imperium. But she was betrayed, and so were we. A poison of the soul, passion's cruel counterpart. From love she grows, till love lies slain. Of what do I speak? Yes, jealousy drove me to betrayal. I was the greatest general of the Alamari. But beside her, I was nothing. Hundreds fell before her on bended knee. They loved her. As did the Maker. I loved her too. But what man can compare with a god? She wields the broken sword and separates true kings from tyrants. Of what do I speak? Yes. I could not bear the sight of Andraste's suffering, and mercy bade me end her life. I am the penitent sinner, who shows compassion as he hopes compassion will be shown to him. The smallest lark could carry it, while a strong man might not. Of what do I speak? Yes, I was Andraste's dearest friend in childhood, and always we would sing. She celebrated the beauty of life, and all who heard her would be filled with joy. They say the Maker himself was moved by Andraste's song, and then she sang no more of simple things. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The debt of blood must be paid in full. Of what do I speak? Yes, my husband Hesarian would have chosen a quick death for Andraste. I made him swear that she would die publicly with her war leaders. That all would know the Imperium's strength. I am justice. I am vengeance. Blood can only be repaid in blood. The bones of the world stretch towards the sky's embrace, veiled in white, like a bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? 
Yes. I carried Andraste's ashes out of Tevinter into the mountains to the east, where she could gaze ever into her maker's sky. No more fitting a tomb than this could we find. No man has seen it, but all men know it. Lighter than air, sharper than any sword. Comes from nothing, but will fell the strongest armies. Of what do I speak? Yes, hunger was the weapon used against the wicked men of the Teventer Imperium. The Maker kindled the sun's flame, scorching the land. Their crops failed and their armies could not march. Then he opened the heavens and bade the waters flow, and washed away their filth. I am Kefer, disciple of Andraste and commander of her armies. I saw these things done and knew the Makers smiled on us. Had fun with the riddle game? I didn't think I'd fool you, but am I really a spirit, or is all this in your mind? Are you in the Fade, perhaps? Honestly, I don't know. I am part of the Gauntlet, I am Jowen, I am you. All these statements are true. To speak to you, and to offer advice. Why wouldn't you talk about that day we both left the Circle? We must acknowledge our past before we can face our future. Is it so bad to admit that mistakes were made by both of us? Goodbye, my friend, and good luck. Yes, of course. Now is better than later. I see Your enemies in here. Let's uh, end this! Uh, push uh, them back! Uh, 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 Run while you still can! Push them back! Uh, 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 Be careful! This had something to do with facing the dark side of your soul, or some such rubbish. Did you see the cruelty on my... on her face? Is that really what I am? That was... weird. <laughs> this looks fun. I bet we'll have to work together and join hands and sing a happy song hey, together. Hey, see across. those thingies over on the side of that huge chasm? I bet they're used for something. Maybe I should touch them or stand on them? Alistair, normal people tend to avoid strange-looking sections of floor thingies, as you say. They tend to be traps. You uh, don't really think they're traps, do you? I don't think it's solid enough to stand on, but it's a start. These are like stepping stones, aren't they? We have to take them one at a time to get across. And you'd like... Shall we? A 
Andras, they only favor the clever, it seems. All right, all right. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Powerful magic indeed. Armed and armored, you have tried to approach Andraste. Why have you committed this act of defiance? In the Maker's eyes, a beggar may as well be a king, or a king a beggar. He cares not for the privilege granted by birth. One can only find spiritual truth by casting aside earthly possessions and seeing them for the deceptions they are. You have shown that you are not worthy of the ashes. May the Maker take you into his arms, and forgive you. Now is better than later. I never dreamed I would ever lay my eyes on the urn of sacred ashes. I... I, I... I have no words to express. I didn't think anyone could succeed in finding Andraste's final resting place. But here's... here she is. I stand in awe. Really. I knew I'd regret letting you go through with this. You... fiend! Just a... how dare you! I will not let you simply walk away from what you've done. I see enemies ahead. Ah. 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 Already, the weight of the past seems to have lifted off the mountain. You are Andraste's night champion. What you have done here will change the world forever. Yes, it would be a grave sin to deny you your just reward. You will share in the power of the dragon, 
You will become one of the children of the Risen Andraste. Behold, the blood of the dragon, drawn from the beating heart of a wyvern. Drink in the strengths of a thousand generations. Mmm, the blood of a dragon is not attained cheaply. Appreciate this gift. Are you sure this is wise? I stood by while you did that thing with the ashes, but they're just ashes. This is different. You're going to... They say you are what you eat. What if you turn into something scaly and... Do you feel any differently? The memories of the blood, a gift from Andraste. The knowledge of our fathers and grandfathers is slowly being passed to you. Even if you leave, you will take us with you. You will forever be one of us. All right, all right. Ah! Our champion has returned! Is there anything I can do for you? You would turn on us? After we've bestowed upon you the power granted by the Prophet? If you seek death, then I will gladly give it to you! <coughs> <coughs>
planet still has no chance. <laughs> Welcome back. You were gone for quite some time. Well, did you find it? Is that? Oh, there's some dust on... No, that's not dust. Omega, I am not worthy to look upon. What... what was it like, coming to the urn, I mean? It may be that to you, but means so much more to thousands of people. Perhaps my research will not seem so much like blasphemy to the Chantry now. We must organize an expedition. There is so much history here, it must be studied. And, and pilgrims should be allowed to come to the Urn. But the Urn belongs to all the faithful. How can you deny this to them? No, we must share it. So everyone comes by and takes some ashes from the Urn. Oh, I hope that Urn is self-replenishing. Yes, share it. Spread the word and more will come under the Chantry's power. Is this not what you want? I will spread this good news or die trying.
Was murdering a defenseless old man really necessary? No end to these blasted things. Now they will later. Orzammar has heard your call. We march for you, Warden. Can I get you a ladder? So you can get off my back? You return. Might you have news? Unchanged, I'm afraid. We've tried more magical healing, but nothing works. As time passes, I become more and more convinced the urn might be our only hope. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, I know you did what you had to. I grieve for Isold, but I believe that had you not acted as you did, it might have been far worse. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? 
Uh, are you certain? I simply mean to honor your efforts, nothing more. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a staff that belonged to Isold's grandfather, himself a mage, I understand. It will serve far better in your hands. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man, one who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. What will you do then? Take your few forces and throw yourself at the Darkspawn? To triumph, you will need all of Ferelden behind you. And Ferelden will remain divided as long as Loghain continues his campaign. I agree. Loghain will pay for his heinous crimes, but our armies must be reserved for the Darkspawn, not for each other. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause, but we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative, but the unthinkable has occurred. Hey, I'm right here. Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet. A gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. None of this would be possible without you. You led Alistair here. You saved my life with the urn of sacred ashes. It's your lead I follow. I am a credible enough figure in this nation to call the lands meet, but I hold no illusions that I could face Loghain without you. Surely you see that. I'm not sure that would help our cause. We would become the criminals, and our accusations would become excuses. Furthermore, I'm not even certain where Loghain might be. Why do you think he had me poisoned? He wanted me gone without having to confront me directly. If I call for a landsmeet, refusing the compromise and attacking Redcliffe will only support our accusations. I'm sure he'd rather I died from the poison. Had the demon not interfered, that's exactly what would have happened. Unless we convince some of Loghain's allies to abandon him, that's not likely to happen. Our army is not large enough. As a Grey Warden, you may gather allies to you, but we need those forces to face the Darkspawn, not to battle against our own. That depends. If we cannot get a consensus in the Landsmeet for Alistair, we cannot afford to oppose Loghain either. Does that mean Loghain could win? A man who killed his own king, who has gone mad with power? Perhaps. We must see that he does not. I hope that's a joke. I hope it does not come to that. If you are suggesting surrender, consider that he has already sought your death. You think he will spare you, knowing what you know? Ferelden must stand united to defeat the Darkspawn. 
A fractured nation will not defeat the Blight, even given my army and those gathered with your treaties. You have already found allies, but we need those to fight Darkspawn. I truly believe the Landsmeet is our best option. We could attempt to wage a military campaign against Loghain, but even if we win, would we have enough left to defeat the Darkspawn? No, but neither would Loghain. Perhaps Loghain gambles on this attitude. That everyone will decide facing the Darkspawn is more vital than facing him, so that he leads us against the Horde. Very well. I will send out the word. We should head to Denerim as soon as possible. I can delay that, however, if you have other plans. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage, for the moment, is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Loghain, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's queen. And I lead her armies. Ah. The Grey Warden recruit. I thought we might meet again. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. You should curb your tongue. This is my city, and no safe place to speak treason. For anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, since Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar, the Regent has been generous to those who prove loyal. Don't interrupt, Churl. Your betters are talking. Enough, Carthrian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would well, you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight, with your selfish ambitions to the throne. Kaelin depended on the Grey Warden's prowess against the Darkspawn, and look how well that ended. Let us speak of reality rather than tall tales. Stories will not save us. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Oh, is that all I have to do? No pressure. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Well, that was bracing. 
I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. My sister married King Merrick while he was still in exile. At that time, he and Loghain were inseparable. The wild prince who'd never seen the inside of a castle and the farmer's son. When Loghain joined Merrick's rebels, he was just a raw-boned boy, but he got on one knee to swear that he would see Ferelden free or die trying. He made us a free people once more. You can't know what it was like to grow up as a vassal in your own land, while poncy little Orlesians minced around in their silks. I would never have believed he would do anything but what was best for Ferelden. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around, and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmate. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the landsmeet then. You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bedbugs had fleas. Mmm, that smell. This is uneven leather, isn't it? I would know that anywhere. <laughs> I don't know how you found it, but thank you. Ah, of course. Purely a practical gift, huh? <laughs> I understand completely. Now, if only you could find me a prostitute or two. A bowl of fish chowder and a corrupt politician. I'd really feel like I was home. <laughs> and they fit as well. Marvelous. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? I hope all the accommodations are to your liking, Warden. Please let me know if anything is troubling you. Now is better than later. None of them looked all that princely to me. So many visitors, so many chamber pots to clean. Oh. If they keep tracking mud up here, it's going to take a month to get it all out. Hey, sure. Hi. All right, then. That looks fine indeed. <laughs> What sugar for those cakes, Ilana? Not barley sugar. They're for the oral. Now's better than later. Dinner's not ready yet, and don't ask. It'll be served when it's done, and that's that. Now, shoo, out of my kitchen. Oh, 
My mother says elves have the clap. Helena, how many times I gotta tell you before you make it through that pointy skull? Bank the coals at night or the stew don't cook. Excuse me, I have to dust the Isle's sitting room. The Chamberlain disapproves of us. If Lady Isolde hadn't brought me into this household from Redcliffe last year, I'd never have been given a place. I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. If one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. Your desire?